Hey guys, we're Sal and Al, the Wool Slayers, and this is episode 19. Yay! All right, we're back at my house. Yes, we are. It's been three weeks. Mm-hmm. Thanks for waiting. Yes. Yes. Sorry we had for some, the delay. <laughs> we had some extenuating circumstances. Exactly. Yes. But everybody's fine in my family, yes. so we're all good. Yes. Thank you for all the kind words. Yes. Um, I'm exhausted. How are you? I finally caught up on sleep. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad one of us is. Yeah. Well, I'm fine. I just, <laughs> I was out late. Uh, late for me. I don't know. Do you ever do this, like, when you drive at night? Anytime I, like, drive home, I can't just go straight to bed. Oh, no. It's like, I'm so just. Well, yeah. but it's, for me, it's not about driving. It's because I've been out, so then I haven't been able to sit and knit and read. Well, that's or true. Or knit and yeah. do something, so I'm like, yeah. but I want to knit. Something about so driving at night, just, I guess, because I'm focused, because mm-hmm. I'm. I have, I have horrible night vision. I was going to say, it could be all the light yeah. stimulation, too. Yeah, I have horrible night vision. So, I have horrible any vision. <laughs> but night, is, there's nothing you can do about it. And, um, yeah, so I got home at, like, 10. And then I had I needed, like, an hour and a half to two hours to kind of, like... <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't need turn that your, long. <laughs> turn your brain off. Yeah, I do. I hate it. It takes me about 15 minutes. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. That was boring. Yeah. Um, yeah, do we have admin stuff? I'm not the admin. You're the admin. Oh, am I? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I did, I just, I don't know. did I just get a title? <laughs> yes. Yes. I thought I was social media maybe. She is head wool, wool slayer. And social no. media. Oh, uh-uh, not head. <laughs> no, not head wool slayer. You do Prize all gatherer. The, you do all the editing. <laughs> I'm just the editor. <laughs> no, just. I could never. That's a huge job. Um, why is my watch buzzing off my wrist? It's driving me crazy. I don't know, but that's a really cute band. Is that new? I did. I got a new band. It's adorable. Just cheapo on Amazon. It, it's just cute. Thanks. I have a shirt that matches it perfectly. Isn't that weird? Yeah. 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 It's kind of, when I wear it, I'm kind of like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, I promise not every watch I own. Right. Yeah, it's just a new band. Um, okay, we're going to give away the Star Wars package at the end. Yay. So stay tuned. Finally giving it away. <laughs> um... We also are going to give away a sweater pattern. Let's go ahead and just um, just do it. Okay. So the underlined sweater. Picture by, here. Picture here. <laughs> um, Alan and I were both gifted a copy from Dallas and Prentice, the designer. Thank you so much. Yes. I cannot wait to get down to my goal size and knit that thing. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. It is adorable. It's, it's super cute. Oh. I'm going to be shopping for it at our next Yeah, I don't festival. have yarn for it or yeah. else I'd... It's probably a good thing. Right? I'd probably be like <laughs> casting on a sweater that's way too big. Right. Um, but you guys get one too. Yay! Woo! Woo! Share thank the you, Dallas. Yes, thank you so much. Her designer name is Violet Pie. So you can go to violetpie.com and see all of her designs. But you, someone is going to be gifted a code for the underlined sweater. Um, so comment below and tell us what yarn you would use. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I need ideas. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, and so it's going to be like a quick and dirty giveaway. We'll announce the winner on the next episode. So if, you know, you're watching it late, you might, it might be too late. Yeah. So spread the word to your friends. Tell them the, to watch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> because um, we're just going to do it quick because she gifted it to us like a month ago, or well, right yes. after our last podcast. Three so it feels ago. like yeah. we've had it a long time and I would like to share the love. Yeah. So, and um, we've mentioned her before. She had the bobble paws mm-hmm. shawl. And remember I showed the, the bear. The bear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. That's a great pattern. Yeah. Um, so yes, she's very much a friend of the show and we thank her very much. And I'm excited to see who wins that pattern and we can all have mm-hmm. matching sweaters. Yay. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Sweet Tea No Shade for mm-hmm. their shout out in their last episode i just love them they are great oh my god every time they talk about my they've talked about my lego mitts a couple of times and they both go (laughs) and i think it's the cutest thing ever so if you haven't watched them please check them out they're sweet tea no shade here on youtube they're a youtube neighbor and um they're a gay married couple in minneapolis and they're adorable and you know they just mentioned in the, the episode that they mentioned us they were they were doing podcaster love mm-hmm. and so they mentioned a couple of like 
guy podcasters. Mm. And they said, we like watching guy podcasters because we have so much in common. Oh, we're just men. That's the only mm, that's thing in common. That knit. Men but, knit. Right. Men knit. Mm-hmm. But they also said, and I want to reinforce it for all the male podcasters out there and male knitters, I have boys. I have two mm-hmm. boys. And I can think of lots of cute little girly things to knit yeah. for little girls. But it is really nice to see what men yeah. want to wear yeah. and what looks good on them. And so I, I really love, like watching mm-hmm. male knitters. I do too. Yeah, especially gay ones. Because you, <laughs> you have Mitch to knit for. I do like, have Mitch yeah. to knit for. And while he is not gay, I just, I love, I just love, I do love gay men. I can't help it. I'm sorry. But I just love their relationship. Yeah, they are sweet. Um, sweet Tino Shade specifically. They're mm-hmm. so cute. Mm-hmm. And they're totally Mitch and I. <laughs> the way they like poke if at Mitch each other. Knitted. If Mitch knit. Yeah. Um, but they they both at, at at separate times like had really awesome beards which i love so you know <laughs> keep it up guys grow it out um but they call it whenever they're kind of throwing a little shade they're like girl <laughs> and i think it's the funniest thing ever and i'm gonna start calling mitch girl because <laughs> it's so cute that's funny <laughs> anyway um and they also gave love to our girl mm-hmm. just one in Elizabeth Zimmerman. Liz Zimmerman. So we're always happy when anyone talks about Liz because uh, we love her. Everyone should be watching her, and she's super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Which? Oh well, we can't say yet. Oh, can yeah. we say yet? Oh, let's go let's ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Speaking of Liz, right. we are gonna co-host a knit along with her. Yay! Yay! I was so happy. She. She totally messaged me out of the blue. I was like, Hey, do you want to do a knit along together? And I was like, oh, Yes! <laughs> I just scared her a little. Um, and then I came up with, um, selfishly, <laughs> all my knit-alongs are selfish. Oh, yeah. Because I need motivation. Um, I've had a couple of sock, bl- sock blanks that I've done nothing with. Not counting my super ugly one that I knit. That I dyed <laughs> myself. That one probably is never going to be knit into anything. But I've had one for a while. And so I said, well, what about, you know, a sock blank? knit along and then me because I have to turn everything into like an innuendo or (laughs) a cuss word or something (laughs) oh and my new favorite word for innuendo is in your (laughs) endo because it's an innuendo (laughs) like when you pronounce it in your endo it's the best thing yeah that's another podcast um that I listened to (laughs) That's the title of this, this <laughs> episode. <laughs> um, another podcast I listen to uh, is it's about romance novels. It's called Heaving Bosom. <laughs> it is hilarious. Really? Oh my god! Would I like it as somebody who doesn't like romance um, probably. novels? Probably. I mean, because they um, uh, it's very you know self-deprecating and uh-huh. like I can't believe we read this, but like, <laughs> but we also love it and like bring right. it on kind of. But they say. In your windows, <laughs> and it's kind of my new favorite thing. Anyway, they're on they're an audio podcast on iTunes. I love. And they're that. two best friends who t- you know, so I love that. Right, right, right. Anyway, yeah, we will talk about knitting at some point. Yes. Um, oh, so the sock blank, sock blank is okay. going to be knit your blank and sock blank. <laughs> is the point of my story because <laughs> everything blank. has to be like a cuss word or right, like right. a. Um, so it's knit your blank and sock blank. I and love that. You don't have to make socks. Because uh, you know I'm not um, making Yeah, that. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm not going to say that. Um, I'm not <laughs> going to make it so that. my co-host does not participate. <laughs> so knit your sock blank into whatever. Arm warmers, gloves, hat, cowl. There's there's shawls out there that are made from sock blank. I mean, you can make anything that needs fingering weight, which I guess there's sock blanks that aren't even fingering weight too, but I don't have any. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I guess yeah. it wouldn't be a sock blank at that point. If it's like a pre-knit <laughs> thing something. that you're unraveling, it counts, okay? And I was all on board with that because I've been wanting to get a sock link. Like, I've been looking for a while. But you haven't actually bought one yet. I looked at stitches. Yet. I didn't see any I really wanted there. Mm-hmm. Um, so this might make me do some internet shopping. Yay! So I've been wanting a sock yes. link, and I don't know what I'll knit with it. It'll depend on what the sock link looks like because if it's right. stripey, then I would... Do something stripey. Mm-hmm. If it's not, then I'm doing so, socks. But whatever. Yeah. That's, it, as yeah. you'll find out, that's all I care about right now. 
just the problem I have with sock blanks is that they're so pretty as a blank. I know. That like I don't have any that have a picture. And yeah, the picture. Oh, I are want one adorable. so bad, but, but I would I never knit it. knit it. Right. Right. <laughs> I want the one with like succulents or cacti. Oh, I love right. that. I know. I want to get some succulents for my kitchen. Hmm. Anyway, I kill a lot of succulents. Succulent. Do you really? Oh, yeah. crap. I know. And then I'm screwed. So. Nah. I thought it would be a good thing for my black thumb, but maybe not. I thought mm-hmm. they lived forever. Ivy. Ivy's the only thing that's, I can well, keep yeah, alive. That's the only thing. I've had one for like 10 years now, and right. it's like, oh my God, you're still alive? Right. Right. Anyway. Can you okay. Me a snoring dog. So, sock blank. Knit your blank and sock Knit your blank and sock blank. And so, the, what date? We're through Ooh, the hurry. end of March. Two months. Two months. Okay. I can do that. And you can uh, enter in our Ravelry group. There's going to be threads. Um, we're going to do Ravelry thread uh, for entries. Um, there'll be an FO thread and a chatter thread in our group and in Liz's group. Just one in podcast. So you can enter your one project into both and be eligible for our prize and her prize. So it's really like a double dip. It is. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, here's our prize. Oh. It is <clears throat> stunning string scissors, which are my favorite. Definitely your favorite. And okay. a stunning string progress keeper. And it's one of those tilted earth that's so popular right now. Where it's like a ball with confetti loose confetti in there. And see it. It's really cute. I, can't, I, almost nice. kept it. I almost kept it. This is something I just bought knowing I would give it away. I should have bought two. There it is. Super cute. And an Air Lane project bag. Very nice. And it has that. What's that? She is that for looping on your belt? Yeah, she or or like onto your other your purse or oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah. I never use it. Okay. I never I have so many of these and i I don't think I've ever used maybe one time when I was getting a pedicure I like looped it so, so it wouldn't fall in the water. <laughs> um but that they all they all have I think almost all her bags have those. Anyway. Very cute. Cute. Um, so that's our prize. I don't know what Liz is that's giving exciting. away, but um, go watch her podcast because she recorded last night yeah. announcing it. So, so her next by the time ours episode. comes up, hers is probably up announcing hers. So mm-hmm. and you should be watching her anyway. <laughs> um, I know. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, can we talk about knitting yet? Yes, please. Okay. Do you have any fails? I have two fails. Oh, I know. Friend. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. I feel okay about them. All right. You know, it, it feels good to have a decision made. Oh, okay. You know, like once you decide, yeah, okay, it's a fail and done. That's true. You know, put it aside and yeah. done. Okay. Get out of my life. So, they are, so the first one is the less tragic of them. And it was one of my 12 days of Christmas cast-ons. And it is the, from Tin Can Knit. The Sweetness Two-Tone Lace Cowl. Cute. It's a free pattern. Okay. And, um, and it's intarsia. Oh. Which oh, uh-huh. It's like I my had, socks. Yeah. Yeah. I had never done intarsia. Mm-hmm. Super easy. It's super easy. And it even makes a nice little, mm-hmm. like it. I love the way it works. looks. The, where it, yeah. yeah. The back. Where so what's joins. the fail? So the fail is that it calls for Aaron weight yarn. And here, you can look at the picture. I will have put a picture in here. Mm-hmm. Because it calls for Aaron weight yarn. This is worsted. I didn't really pay attention. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. It's fine. But what I'm not liking is, and in, in the picture you will have seen how smooth the, um, the lace looks. And it could be because my yarn is a, has a little more halo mm-hmm. than their yarn. But it's not. But it, it's, theirs is very crisp. Yes. And I think that what it is is that my yarn is too small. Too thin, I was going to say. It's too thin, so it's not tightening yeah. up enough in the lace. Yeah, theirs looks a lot denser. And there we go. Okay. And we're back. And so... Um, so I get it. It doesn't look like the picture at it's all. It's not right. And That sucks, though, because it's really pretty. I like the... I love the whole idea of Right. It. I, I can see too. why you wanted to do yeah. it. And this would totally be a Texas Longhorn scarf. Like, yeah. these are the colors, burnt orange and white. <laughs> so, um, I would have, I, you know, but I wasn't loving it. Yeah. I wasn't loving you're the never gonna combination. Finish, you're never going to finish something like that if you're not loving it. Right. Well, I would finish it and be like, eh. Right. So, What's the point? stop. I stopped. You and can stop. You know what? You're the boss of your knitting. Oh, <laughs> I 
have in charge of me. So I don't know if I'll actually look for another yarn to fit this pattern. I mm -hmm. think what I was doing when I paired this up ages ago was that I was looking for a pattern to use this yarn for. Mm -hmm. And I, and I think what it's a disconnect a little on Ravelry. I see this happen sometimes and it could just be the different yarn weights, but somebody will say in the pattern that it's worsted, but they will have used an Aran mm -hmm. for the original. Yeah. But it might be a light Aran. Yeah. So the yarn itself calls it. Worsted and Aran bug the crap out of me because there's such a wide range of what they are. What worsted can be anything from DK to bulky. It feels like. <laughs> it's like, and you can call this worsted. Right. So yeah. there's no uniformity. So I, you know, and I wasn't. It wasn't a pattern I was dying to make. And right. It was just good. something. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's. I can see why you wanted to make it it's very pretty it's very pretty but but I can see why you that. I can see why you're not happy with it because it does not look like the picture at no, all not at all I know I don't Do have, you have a, any fails? I don't have I don't have a fail okay well then I'll go to fail number two fail number two is going to be a little more tragic for everybody oh no but I'm okay with it I really am. okay if you're okay I'm okay I'm okay my laneway sweater with all the little green balls with all the little green balls I am not, I'm going to, this yarn is going into timeout for a long time. Because oh. everything I try to do with it. Well, you're better than me because it would be in the garbage <laughs> if it was my yarn. <laughs> okay. First, my gauge is off like mad. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to have you, well, I don't know. I, I don't well, need to get close. Okay. First, my gauge is off. Okay. And I'll pull out my numbers. But I also am not loving how the colors look. I, Why not? Well, I think they're fine. I think it's cute. I think they're fine. Okay. But this, like this and in the hank, is way prettier than this. And I think that it is just not a good marriage of color. Hmm. I think the green doesn't allow all the great colors here to show because up. Because there's greens in it. And that or just the way they are next to each other mm. and it is much brighter in mm -hmm. person than yeah. it's showing up here um and my gauge and i could have adjusted for gauge it would have been fine this essentially is my gauge swatch i like it okay so my gauge was supposed to be six stitches to an inch and eight rows I had eight stitches to an inch and 11 rows, which is a huge difference. Like my, and, and so I have also figured out, and I'm not gonna be able to show y'all on camera, Sally can attest to it. Look at the size difference of the two yarns. Yes. This green is the green not is fingering, thin. it's a light fingering. It's thin. It's yeah, almost it's a light. Thin. And this is again yeah. the disconnect yeah, on Yeah, you don't wanna stripe those two. No. I, I don't. I don't hate the color at all. No, I, think, I don't hate it either. But I just don't think it's the best. Yeah. I can, I can the, do better. The si when you add the size into it, then yeah. That's... Right. I think this can do better. It needs to be the star Not for a of sweater. Right. Like a shawl? Okay, fine. Right. Um, But I feel like you won't like that. Mm -mm. That's a bummer. I know. It is, but you know. It's okay. That's why it hurt. I swatched. Yeah. Look, people, I officially swatched. <laughs> so, I'm... Oh, that green yarn. I know. It's so the so green pretty. is going away. Yeah. It just, it's got to sit in time it out needs for a little to longer. to think about what it's done. <laughs> exactly. For sure. Exactly. Oh, so that, that is, isn't, that is a bummer. Okay, sorry about the technical difficulties. My computer is we're not. We're back. I know, we're back. We okay. had a moment. Okay. So, that was my January. That was going to be my question. Hohe. Are you. Or not Hohe. It was Vera. Uh, interpretation. Interpretations cast on. That was going to be my question. Are you going to. Just call it done. January's no. Mm -mm. I recast on. Okay, that was yeah. January. I probably would have to. Too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought about it because like that technically. Technically, you did a ton on it. Yeah. But um. But no. But you can't let the first month <laughs> be like have an asterisk next to it. <laughs> right. Exactly. So. So I'll get to that. And well. Wait. Okay. Cool. Okay. So slaves. Slaves. Or whips. We usually slay first. Oh, okay. We slay first. You go. I, ha I have one slay. 
Okay. I'm going to show my, um, wait, maybe, where is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is, like, super fancy, you guys. <laughs> Get ready to have your faces rocked. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> A dishcloth. <laughs> I hate knitting dishcloth. <laughs> well, but it is amazing. And you know you what? I will say, though, this one wasn't terrible. Like, it was actually kind of fun for a dishcloth. Mm. Um, so, it was good TV knitting. I used up some hideous cotton yarn, and it's cute. And now I have something to scrub my countertops with. Nice. Can't remember what it, it was called. Cute. What was it called? Ball band. Ball band dishcloth. Yeah. That's right. Which I'm like, that's why I can't remember. <laughs> Like the weirdest thing, but it looks like bricks. I think it's cute. It is cute. You are so there right. you go. I'm not gonna talk much about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's done, and it was one of my Christmas cast ons, so feels good to get those done. Yeah. Um, my other, another whip is, and these are oh, you know what? This is kind of a fail actually. Like I'm not doing anything about it. Oh, I was gonna say. Um, so these are mitts that I made for Mitch, which I don't even think I had these cast on. Mm -mm. I didn't talk about it. No. Um, the yarn is awesome. Well, yeah. because it's Diane Suburban Stitcher yarn. Mm -hmm. This is boyfriend jeans. And they look like jeans. So I made them for my forever boyfriend, my husband. And it's the Stitch Up mitt pattern. And it's free on Ravelry and it has kid sizes and adult sizes and it just has this really cute um, slipped stitch. Is that what it is? You slip, How do you get the bar across? You slip three with yarn in front. Oh. That's all it is. Oh. Super easy. And does it, I, so when I get to my <clears throat> FO, I had some slip stitches on that and I found that it pulled the fabric in. It does. I didn't block these, but if I did, it would be more like... Um, like that okay um but it, it could just kind of pull it in but when you wear them and he fills like them out better than i do right um okay so here's the fail oh your thumb is a little no oh. it's fine it was just weird on me oh okay the fail is oh i made two of the two hand. of the same hand because the pattern was so easy that i didn't have to look at it <laughs> When I made the second one, because I had it in my head, <laughs> forgetting you do have to change the thumb. <laughs> so when he wears them, they look like this. <laughs> There's detail on it's like this. Oh, you mommy. just have to choose which hand you want the the fancy on. Oh, I literally oh. was like, put these on so I can take a picture. That's when I realized it. <laughs> Because it's not like you haven't made a ton of gloves and mitts in your life. I was That's how fast I made them. I made them in like two and a half days. You know, I just wow. whipped them out. And then I was like, what an idiot. I literally <laughs> made the same glove twice. You have to. It's, you've been doing too many socks. True. And I was, I didn't feel very good. And so I was just, I just busted it out. And I was feeling very like productive. And, and then it was like, mm -hmm, sorry. No, I'm not <laughs> changing that. No. <laughs> like, it's not worth it. Um, no. And he was like, I don't care. Right. Um, but these, I put these in Diane's um, Get Suburban oh, yeah. knit along. Um, anytime you finish something with her yarn, you enter it. And, and it's for the whole year. Isn't yeah, it? she's going to draw like winners. You are going to be knitting that yarn. I was the first FO in the thread. <gasps> How exciting. You should get a prize for that. Totally, right? <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here. Right. Very nice. Um, so, yeah. And he loves them. I was trying to whip them out because so fast because we were about to have that cold snap mm -hmm. um, last week or whatever. So I was like, I gotta get these done. And then of course he left them at home and didn't wear them that day, the day our day of winter. Right. I was like, Screw come you. on, we had three. Yeah, but the day, <laughs> oh, right. like the day when it was eight degrees. Right. These were sitting on the kitchen counter and I came out. I, he leaves before I do and I texted him and I was like. Knitter, really? I said hashtag knitter betrayed. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so mad at myself. I wish I had them right now. And I was like, right. can't talk about it. <laughs> Rude. Okay, I have one more. So do okay. you want to do yours? I have one. This is from Christmas Cast Ons. This is oh, Into love. the Darkness. Oh my gosh. I finished the mint. Is that the right? Hold on. Man, those are pretty. They are. And I, it's, oh, here. Okay. So this is the right glove. Um, 
and I it really enjoyed doing them two at a time. There's something about the stitch pattern. I, di I did not love knitting them. No? I, they were kind of hard to read to knit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can so, see that because they're so fuzzy. See all the different yeah. textures? It's really only two textures. And the other thing is there is definitely a line at the beginning of the round. Like you can see it here and then right there. Hmm. And which is fine. I just put that on the inside of the hand. Hmm. Um, I knit the... That gets better with the more you magic loop and, and well, two at a time. No, it's not magic loop because oh. I don't have a problem with it. It's something about the... The yarn? The switching, you know, because you're doing a slip and a knit and a... Oh, you know, the actual pattern. Yes, it's something oh. about the stitch pattern. But I just put it on the inside and inside I mean, and really nobody's... like, it's fine. Yeah, it's that, fine. That's when them being so fuzzy mm -hmm. and kind of have a halo, it helps yeah. kind of yeah. <laughs> mar it a little bit. At first, I thought they were too small. I did a medium, they do look and they were tiny. tight. But I have been wearing the heck out of them. They're super cute, and they fit perfectly. They're very like fitted because they are fitted. Mm -hmm. But it's slip stitches, and so I was concerned. Yes. Oh, I that should have gone up one because slip stitches do suck it in yeah. and make it so that there's no stretch. Unless you're like really careful about mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this loose mm -hmm. as I slip. No, nobody, nobody does, does that. that. So there they are. Very, very pretty. And I love them. It used hardly any of the yarn. Let's say I might make another pair for a friend. Mm. Um, and she is totally knitworthy, but um. I you need to give it a minute though. So you yeah, don't how much I you need to give it. yes. I need yeah. to give it a minute yeah. or look for a different pattern. <laughs> it would make a pretty hat too if you had enough. You could. Oh yeah, yeah, I could do that. Mm. Very pretty. Yeah, but also I want to say I love fingerless mitts because okay, I'll show on this. I find that sweater sweaters are always just a little short mm -hmm. on me. But if I wear fingerless mitts, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. because it takes away the awkward. My yeah. sleeve can be up at like three quarters, and I still have or even over it. Right. Mm -hmm. I still have my hand I like covered. That and it's so soft, cute. So, that's my fo. I love it. That's I, a good one. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It is the yarn is is kind of pilling a little, um, which I mean yeah. it's on the hands. So it's fine. I mean, um, I'll my, just have to do the gleaner. My first pair of gloves were with Madtosh, and it pilled like a, you know what? So, yarn just pills. Yeah, it does. <laughs> well, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I do have another FO. Technically, they're not like completely done, but they're done. The only reason they're not done is because I taught that heel class oh, last okay. night, and so I was waiting to put in the heels on my scrappy socks. But these, but the body is the cool. the tube, the actual sock tubes have been done forever. Like I finished them shortly after we podcast last time. And did time. you do reverse like mm -hmm. you did on Mitch? Yeah, Aww, cute. So I did them reversed. So did you do truly afterthought where you yep. cut in the middle I, and? Yep, I cut it in because I did this at um, when I was teaching class last night. No, no, I mean the long tube for two socks. No, no, no. Okay. I just did two tubes. Okay. I didn't do afterthought everything. They are um, adorable. I kind of love them a lot. Yeah. This, I want a whole skein of this. That is gorgeous. This, from the toe to that black stripe is all That's one right. colorway. And I love it. Do you know what it is? No. Oh. They didn't give, um, they didn't give names or, any, or color numbers or anything. Um, but I think mine are super cute. Super cute. So I'm not going to show them again because, right. I mean, I'm just putting in black heels. There's no reason to wait. So, right. And they would have been done if I wasn't waiting. until I literally taught that class last night. So, like, there wasn't time to actually get them 100%. Because right. um, I needed them for my demo. Oh, I will show you. This is some, this is, um. Remember the these? tube you made. Yeah, yes. this is the afterthought everything. And I did want to just show that I put it in the heel and it looks amazing. It does. And your rib cuff looks amazing. Oh, well, the cup, uh, the toe is actually where I had to cut oh, right. here okay. and put in a toe. Um, look how tall they are. I just love them. That is awesome. So I finished one heel of, I did one heel to show at the class that I taught. And then I, 
I had the other one as a demo, but it didn't get done. So I'm not going to show these again either, but I wanted to, I love, I've never, I usually always put in a contrast. And I kind of love that I didn't on this one. I yeah. love that it's purely, uh -huh. I'm using up like every inch of that skein. Uh huh. There's, wonderful. there's like only enough left to do the other heel. And it's the same colors? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, because it was OCD, right? Mm-hmm. No. No, it was just one skein. That's right. Um, But ah, I just love it. It's adorable. So anyway, that's not technically an FO, but. Okay, so that was all of mine. That's all mine? Okay. okay what are you working on whip cracking okay so since i did not get to keep my january cast on for interpretations I started a new one okay and i have to point out i completely color coordinated this well then obviously and then this I mean, you're after my own heart with that. <laughs> and then... Ooh, that's pretty. This is my stitch marker. And then... Where's my... This is my progress keeper. <laughs> Which both it. of these were Christmas are uh, Advent stitch marker mm. ones. Cute. And my needle keeper. <laughs> like, literally everything in Speaking my blue. language. You're speaking <laughs> my language. So... I cast on Monochrome Cowl, Monochrome Cowl by Hohi Locatelli. There's a quick little image. Um, you can't see much detail, so I'll put more pictures. But it's essentially it's so pretty. some ribbing, which is really rolling. I don't, it, I don't mm. know if that's going to flatten out like hers in the picture. Let's see. Um, then you do some... You've done a ton of work on that. I have. <laughs> then you do some stockinette, and then you do a mesh lace, then you do some stockinette, and now I'm on the second of four lace types. It'll cool. be... It's four different So it's different really textured times. and... Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, that yarn is so pretty. And the yarn is... I love it. You just showed that... I did. On our Christmas episode, right? I did. I yeah, just I recognize got it. it. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, and I bought it specifically for this project. It's and perfect. there's just little blips of blue. There they go. Um, and it just looks like clouds to yeah. me. It is Farmer's Daughter Fibers, made in Montana. Foxy Lady, 70% merino, superwash, 30% silk. And you can really see mm -hmm. the silk. It's so like, shiny. In the light, it just yeah. glows. Um, it's gorgeous. The color is under the big sky, and it does. Yep. It looks like a sky. It's perfect. It's just that, wonderful. That is totally like redeeming your yes. your fail. But don't you feel yes. so good about that? Love it. So excited, and I w was eager to cast it on. So I love it. That kind of helped. That yeah. like okay, well, and that's what it, that's why now. it's nice to have them all lined up like that. Cause mm -hmm. It's like okay, well, I'll move on to the next attempt. Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. It's okay. It's also nice why it's nice to have a stash because, yeah. you know, like, oh, that didn't work out. Let me try something else. So that well, is... Well, that is gorgeous. That's the main thing I've been working on. Um, it is my... When I'm not in the lace sections, mm. it's just straight stockinette, mm -hmm. so it's my dark knitting. So I try to time it yeah. so that I have the stockinette to do on the weekends when we're at so many Games sports activities. And, yeah. Yeah. So Perfect. that I can just knit, knit, knit. And be done. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And that makes it more motivating to get through the lace. Right. Right. All right. Okay, well, okay, so my, I don't make resolutions, but my goal this year, you know, you have your interpretations mm -hmm. challenge. Right. Mine is this thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I I was going to do like a square a day. I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's, I think that's, ooh, that's setting yourself up for failure. Right. Um, so I, my goal is to do two squares a week for the year, because that would be 104 squares added. And I wrote down how many I started with. It was like 80 or something like that. Um, and so I have added my, up to this point, you know, six, what are we in the third week uh -huh. of January? Yeah. So I've added six squares to it. And it's getting, it's kind of a funky shape. Because it I'm, is. I'm growing out. Like these are my Mary Poppins. Yeah. Stuff. And this was my, that I got at <sighs> Pearl Soho, these two. Are the that blue is so what gorgeous. was it Koigu yes. that I got at Pearl Soho? I went ahead and added those. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going out this way because I want to get the width done mm. and then I'll work on the length. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. 
So it's kind of a weird shape. But here it is as of January 24th. And are you just randomly doing color placement or are you um, being purposeful about I, where you I do it? try to, I don't, I try not to put like a stripe mix. Oh. But otherwise. That's true. That's the only. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. That I is want it nice to, like I want it to that. be random. But I try not, like I would never put like this next to. Oh, this. This, you know, right, like right, I. Right. So you're being a little person. I put, you know, tonals or solids in between the stripes, but okay. I don't, otherwise I don't, and I try not to put like a pink next to a pink. Right, right, right. But otherwise I'm, I just dig around and, and grab minis until. Have you repeated yet? Nope. And you're not going to? Um, not until I have to run out. Okay. Yeah. So far, every single one of these is a unique yarn. Wow. Yeah, it's really it fun. It looks great. Thank you. Um, and so I think the two squares a week being more, is more realistic, which makes me. Yeah. And I was going to say one square a week. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. Um, and if I sit down and do 20 at once, that's fine. Like I'm not saying I'm Will going to. Will it count to... for future weeks? Yes. Oh, okay. That... You, so really it's 104 I want, a year. Yes. I would okay. like 104 squares added to this at the end of the year. So it might be 90 in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see um i actually think i might take this one up to the lake this year mm. i think that would be a good yeah because um, you can put it down and pick it up and yeah um and since we drive it doesn't matter if i take my big old basket of scraps you mm. know it's, right i have all the room right and we're gonna be there a month so <laughs> yeah and it's chilly up there yeah. at night, so you oh, can yeah. have it on I can you. totally sit and knit with it on, right. and it would be comfortable. So. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's one of my works in progress. It's actually, It's been a whip for a while, but it's right. actually getting worked on, Right. which is fun. Okay. I have... Okay, so since I didn't have the laneway, because mm -hmm. that was my non-dark knitting, um, because there were increases and stuff at that point, and the monochrome cowl is dark knitting most of the time, for a lot of the time. I restarted my Shishu Oh my goodness! Shrug picture here, and um, wow, I love it. It's so pretty. So that's the brighter. Eh, you can't really tell. They're they're pretty yeah. close in color. It's kind of. It's so much more mm -hmm. fluorescent lime green. <laughs> As usual, your greens are getting washed know, out, right? Um, looks good. It looks great. And so fun. this time it's so much easier. Oh, cause you already know how to do brioche. Well, I don't know if it's because I, I understand brioche more. Are you know how the first time you like mm -hmm. the first yeah. mitt you do or the first sock you do, you're really focused and mm -hmm. having to pay attention. And then the second one, you're like, I got this. Yeah. Maybe I you should pay a little bit of attention so that you don't end up with two right gloves. <laughs> just right. <laughs> Right. But I think <laughs> essentially it's the effect of, I did it once, didn't really understand what was going on, but held on and, and followed. Were you even to this point? No, I'm yeah, further. I thought so. Only because I know the yarn that I pulled off. Yeah, I thought you yeah. had not made it much past that when right. you ripped it out the first time. I am. It looks awesome. The other thing that I did, and maybe I don't need to do it now that I understand it better. But the other thing that I did was I went through, because you have lots of increases at first. Like, there are mm -hmm. major increases. Um, and so, in the eight-row repeat, I think I increased four, 14 stitches. Wow. 15 stitches. No, I have to do it 15 times. 12 stitches. Eight rows, 12 stitches. So, I went through and I calculated what I should have after mm. each row. That helps. Because I will miss, I will miss a yarn over or, mm -hmm. you know, like a knit two right. together. Like, and I want to know when I At the it, end of that row. At the end yes. of that section, do I have the right number of stitches? Yeah. So that I don't get 15 repeats in and am like 12 stitches short because <laughs> that would kind of suck. So, and unfortunately, there's not a way for me to put, to like go ahead and count 50 stitches and mm -hmm. not have to, and put markers right. and not have to count that. I have to count after every eight. I'm only at 100 stitches or so right now, so it's not that not bad. Not terrible. But I'm going to get up to like 350. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> well, maybe by then yeah. you'll be more like, oh, no, 250, 237. You got this. Yeah. Well, it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm happy I'm, to see it back out. I know you've been too. wanting to knit it. So. I'm super excited. Um, and silly me, I almost went through my queue like, oh, what else can I knit? Then you're like, hold <laughs> up. Hold on. <laughs> I, have I feel it. like there's something large <laughs> waiting in the shadows. Oh yes, my humongous brioche shrug. <laughs> exactly. So yes, but and I do think that I'm doing the right size. I also went down oh, in good. size to from a large to a medium, and I do. It's think a pretty that's big, right? It's yeah. oversized. You want it to fit, like not. Yeah. And I've heard it, you know, because the brioche is easy to yeah. grow. Mm-hmm. So. So that's well, that's exciting. Another whip, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so all I've really cared about is socks. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because I was teaching that heel class and I was kind of like, ah, like all socks all the time. So I have finally started using my field bag. And you'll notice I took the patch off. You did. I'll show you why in a little bit. Okay. And I've been carrying two sock whips. Oh, wow. In this, because it's kind of too big for just one. Uh, one pair of socks. Um, but I wanted to use it. So, here's one of my sock whips. So, another... Wait, it's in a cute it little... Is, yeah, this is old. I've had this back. forever. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a cloth yarn bowl, basically. This was one of the first things I bought when I started knitting. I barely use it. But, it's handy when you have... Especially because you have two um, sock whips. So, it's handy to kind of keep this one separate. Mm. This is my all-time favorite cleverest coolest oh, yarn this is my white birch fiber arts nothing says screw you like a rainbow and it's so pretty and it's on these stupid little needles i haven't knit a stitch on these needles it's on there oh. because i needed the needle for my sock for my heel class last night <laughs> so it's essentially so a stitch it's, holder. it's a stitch holder yeah <laughs> look at oh that so i'm about to start the rainbow again i'm gonna have to buy some of that it's so fun and then it's got you know a rainbow. a rainbow. And these are going to be in Diane's Suburban Stitcher. Her rainbow along. Oh yes. You whips count. So it oh, has to be so you're getting started. It has to be finished in February. But you can start it anytime. So I've started those. Uh, oh, and this is gonna be the vanilla is the new black sock. So it's not gonna be an afterthought. It's gonna have that really it's like a um, cable, we'll put it in a picture. A uh, cabled not really cabled, but um, heel. It's a very architectural, oh, I very pretty heel. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what these are going to be. That's one. Oh, I love that yarn so much. And then, yeah, it's and it's it feels good. Like it, mm. it's nice. And then the other, this I've made a ton of. Oh, I love this too. So you know, I like to have stuff different. So those are one at a time. They're not. They're going to be a. a you know, heel flap and gusset, I guess. They're not an afterthought heel. So these, I'm doing two at a time. <laughs> and I'm doing sock tubes, and I'll do afterthought heels. And this is Mustache Kama Sutra. Oh, it's so and look at this. It's a 20-stripe repeat. It didn't start over like this. Did It was oh, completely right. different until here. That brown. Wow. This this blue right here is this blue. It's so pretty. 20 different colors. I love that. Love. Um, that makes me so happy. Oh, it's so fun colors. to knit, yeah. too, because you're just constantly like, what's the next color? Right. Um, and then I'm using for a, just a mark. I like to mark my front. My This is my first, you know, mm. sock. Um, mm. Is one of those Happy New Year stitch markers I'm that ready. Libby made us. Super cute. Yeah. Um, I thought it went really well. Yeah. So I have these came in the, you know, perfect pair mm-hmm. OCD skeins. So that's why I chose those for two at a time. Why not, right? She already does all the work. Right, right. Um, so those are basically knitting themselves because it's just whoo, so addictive. Uh-huh. Um, so that's my two sock whips. And did you have anything else? Whips? Because um, I have one. Yes, more. I do. Okay, good. Okay, go ahead. So, um, a friend of mine is having a baby. Oh. And um, I'm and so glad she, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> she is so knit worthy. So, um, 
I knit, she's having her second child, and I knit her first child um, a couple of things. But one of the things that has kind of become my signature go-to that my friends always ask for now is I make this little tassel hat. And I made one for my child, for Cade. I didn't, I didn't know about it for Zane. Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. So that was one of your boy. That was Zane's. This was Kate. Oh, oh that's, that's his newborn size. Oh my goodness. I know. So I brought a picture of him in it. Oh <laughs> yay! I had to pull it off the wall. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that. Oh, it's so cute. So, that one in the middle is him and his There's hat. a glare, but you can see his little face. There we go. Look at him. He's oh, so cute. It's so perfect, and I love how it adds interest to the picture. The long tassel right. next to him is super fun right so i'm making her one okay and and this used to i mean i this used to be what i made You've every made baby i have made of them. so many of these um but the pattern that i use is from susan b anderson's um itty bitty hat itty bitty hat yep and this is one of the first pattern books I bought because this was pre-Ravelry. I was about to say, did she? Yeah. And it signed. Yep. When we met her a couple years ago. Her. And we took her class. I think I have the same hat. Or the same book I'm yeah. I I have all, I bought all three of her itty bitty. I do. Itty bitty hat. Yeah. It's right there behind my yarn tree. And I have made so many hats from this because. They're so cute. They are so cute and they're quick and they're for babies. And, and she's such a good pattern writer. I mean, so like, good. why not? Yeah. So that is her hat. And the modification I make is that in between the decrease rounds, she tells you how many rows to go in between to make mm -hmm. that point. I double that. Oh, you make it extra long. And and that makes it extra long. Oh my goodness. Um Aww. so and Cute. this this might not even be this was one of the first ones I made, so it might not even be doubled and it's been in a <laughs> box <laughs> yeah it's been in a box and Aww. i just made like a little tiny pom 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 cute not my best pom pom <laughs> you know. it's been in a box it's been and it's been, been a while um, it's a little old so this is what it started because she wanted it to be blue and gray because her daughter her first child was pink and gray cute so oh and of course that's the side where the knot came through so I don't yeah, have it's blowing out, but. that much of the gray. Mm. I didn't have enough to stripe the whole thing because mm -hmm. I striped her daughters. Um, so I just did two. It'll look kind of sporty. Oh, because yeah, like I just did the two. Stripes. Yeah, cool. The and yarn. You could, you could do the pom pom. Oh, that's true. Some, that's true. With the blue and the gray. Oh, that's and a good idea. Blue and gray pom pom. I'll do that. Cute. Yeah, yeah. The yarn is Barocco Touche. It's can't get it soft. anymore. It's just discontinued. Is it? It's soft. I bought a ton of it. It's um, fifty <laughs> percent cotton, fifty percent rayon, and it is fifty grams. Is eighty nine yards. And essentially, one of these does a hat. It's the I perfect have a baby yarn left over. It really is the perfect yeah. baby yarn. So I bought. I, I think I know from Webs or Yarn dot com. Mm -hmm. They must have had a sale when it was discontinued. I bought yes, like <laughs> 12 different colors and nice. three or four of each color. <laughs> Why are they discontinued like the good acrylics? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because we're really left is. with Red Heart Super Saver. And it's probably no offense, a Red DK Heart. or a worsted. What do you think? I think it's a DK. Yeah, well, you know, worsted can right. be. Right, <laughs> anything. But <laughs> I literally <laughs> cast this on in the carpool line yesterday. Mm, and I and remember. And you just do the roll. Yeah, it just has a roll. It's just a roll. I love edge. it. And I remember. So I worked, I've worked on it for like an hour. And I remember these taking forever. Oh, really? When I used to make them. Now you're like, Psh, I don't know if I'm I'll get faster. that done tomorrow. Right. Like, this <laughs> might be finished tonight. Yeah. I don't know if I'm faster because I've been doing it longer or Probably. if I've been knitting with fingering so long. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that is true. A DK. I'm like, wow, Those mitts were DK, and I was like, holy moly. <laughs> like, <laughs> it took me a day. Right. We, that, that, yeah. that is true. <laughs> so, 
I don't know. It's the best of both worlds, though. I mean, I'll so take it, it though. Sounds like a win-win to me. <laughs> right, exactly. So that's my last one. Well, it's adorable. I have Thank one you. more. And mine's a hat, too. We've been oh, kind of like, except that. for socks, like we have mitts the same. And yeah. So this, <laughs> this was on Weeby Freebie, one of our Ooh. first Weeby Freebies. It's the Twiggy hat. Mm. Do you remember mm-hmm. that? Um, and I've had this I yarn. Do. I'm afraid I'm going to run out of yarn. Oh. I have this yeah. um, Knit Picks. Capra DK, which then on Ravelry it says it's fingering, and I'm very confused, but whatever. Yep. I think it's DK. I think it's DK. Um, so you are totally going to run out. Probably. But I think I'm going to make it a ponytail hat, oh. and so I'm kind of hopeful that it'll be enough. I think you have enough for a ponytail. Um, and if not, I'll grab scraps and swirl it or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, it'll be fine. Um, the important thing is this has cashmere in it and it'll be next to my precious, <laughs> glorious, um, delicate, delicate sensitive skin. <laughs> um, and the rest, who cares, right? Like, so it's really cute. That is really cute. Isn't that cu- such a The cu- stitch definition is really nice. Yeah. I really like it, uh, the color with the, the pattern. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, it's just so soft. So I grabbed my head here. Let's see. Because, <laughs> you know, I was really nervous it wasn't going to fit oh, um, right. after my last hat. So I've tried it on a couple of times, and I do think it is going to fit. Just don't pull it off the needle. I don't know. I've tried it on as best I can try on a hat that's not... Mm. Um, that's on the needles and, like, doesn't have a ton of... Yeah. Mm-hmm. It still needs some fabric. Right, right. But yeah, that yarn is going fast though. Mm-hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. And I, so I went back and forth. This this yarn was supposed to be a pussy hat. Oh, uh huh. And then I was like, I'm never gonna go to a march because I'm scared of dying. So <laughs> don't. It's you know what? I have a lot of anxieties. Let's just not even get into it. But um, and so I've had it forever to make a pussy hat with and then I was like I don't know like living in Texas I don't really feel like inviting the comments that wearing a pussy right. hat would invite so um even when I cast this on I was still like I don't know if it's gonna be a pussy hat or a ponytail hat so it's I, I'm gonna go with ponytail hat because I'll wear it more yeah. if it's a pony because I've been wanting a ponytail hat look at that look at my brown hair yes yeah. gorgeous it is a I color. love raspberry pink. Yeah. Um, so I'm loving it. I'm loving the yarn. I wish I had another skein of it, actually. But and I might. I mean, it's nitpick, so yeah. surely it wouldn't. If I do, if I can't find a suitable scrap, I think you can make it to a ponytail hat. I might. I think you have enough for that. I might um, order another skein of it because I was like. Three dollars. Yeah, so, it's not three dollars though, because you end up spending fifty to get well, the free true. shipping. <laughs> Actually, this was legit three dollars because I like tacked on to a friend's. Oh, order. Right. It was Kimber's order. Oh, right, she right, ordered right. it for me, and I paid her. Yeah. So, um, that's how you get it right. Get away with it. <laughs> free right. shipping with that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm loving it. It's um slow for a hat because you do have to kind of pay attention, mm-hmm. but um, it's not terrible. No. Yeah. It's, I'm having a lot of trouble with things that I need to think. Like oh. I, I think that's why I only want to knit socks. Is like I only want to knit mindless. And was I like that last time too? Yes. Well, I, you, yes. Before Christmas, when you were in your funk. Yeah. And I, like, I mean, I've been wanna... ever since I finished that little bird. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. And it wasn't even that it was that hard. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, I can't think about my knitting. Mm-hmm. I've tried a couple of patterns and I'm just like, I don't, I just want to knit sock in it. So I don't know. I'm not in a funk because I'm knitting a ton. Some of that for me is what other entertainment and I'm, am I enjoying right now? So, That's true. I've like, been reading a lot. Yes. Yeah, so if I read a book mm-hmm. and not listen to a book, then I need to have something that I'm not looking at. So stock in it yeah. and I need to be able to swipe. That's true. I've been, the reason those socks have so much work is because I've been reading on my iPad and while I knit. Mm-hmm. And so, I can't yeah, do that's pattern. true. Yeah, that's true. That's what it is for me. But if I'm into a TV series yeah, you can where do. I can, you know, go back and forth, mm-hmm. then I can do, like, that's my Shisui shrug. That's true. 
I don't know. I'm hoping since I got that class done, it's mm-hmm. been kind of weighing on me a little bit. I was a little bit stressed out about it. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm hoping maybe it'll free my brain up right. <laughs> to, um, I don't know. But I'm still enjoying my knitting, even though I'm only knitting right. stock and a sock. It all has a purpose. So I'm not mad at it. Yeah. Okay. I have like a metric crap ton of trophies because oh, I kind of yeah, lost. That's right. I lost my mind a little bit. That's right. Apparently, the energy I couldn't put into reading a pattern was put into online shopping. <laughs> yeah. We'll go for it because I have none. Oh my god. Okay. Like. It's so bad, I thought, maybe I'll leave this out and do it next time. But then I was like, no, because I need it to just be in my stash. Right. Once I talk about it, I can stash it and, you know, so whatever. Right. Y'all buckle up. <laughs> I'll be Vanna. <laughs> it's, it's, like, embarrassing. Oh, there's a sack point. Yes. Okay, so I went to the Dallas... Oh, that's right. Dallas, Dallas Hand Knitters uh-huh. Guild? Okay. Yeah. Um, they had happy knit year and it was super fun. I'm not a member of the guild, but you could go, you know, you buy a ticket and go and everybody got a prize. So you still had like a ticket or no, no, no. I think they just had the list of entries and oh. they pulled your name out of a hat. Mm-hmm. So, um, it smells good too. Uh, so they pull your name and Everybody got a prize, but the sooner you got pulled, you got the, you know, you got to choose. So, so they call your name and you go look at the you table. You go look at the table and pick your item. So, you know, if you were last, you still got a prize, but you didn't get, you got your choice. Left. <laughs> yeah. So I got chosen in the top probably 20 people and I picked this beautiful sock blank. That is gorgeous. And it's sparkle. It's on glitter sparkle sock and it's from actually she's like local to me in Keller but she doesn't have oh, yeah. she doesn't have a she doesn't have a store mm-hmm. knitting rose yarns um she's always at you know stitches and mm-hmm. um fiber fest mm-hmm. so yeah I chose that and I think it's really pretty nice I don't think it's the one I'll knit for the knit along though because I've had mm-hmm. one for a long time that I would like to mm-hmm. knit first but I think maybe this is what made me think of it Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Oh, if I was really nice, I would donate this as a prize, wouldn't I? Okay. <laughs> not. That would be a good prize for the knit along, but it's not going to happen. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sorry. It'd be perfect. Sorry. Sorry. Come I want, on. I want it fair and square. And then I had Libby pick me up some tuft woolens. I've been wanting to try. I've never used it either. They're wool wash. Try, yeah. In the, because it's a bar. I've never had, mm-hmm. you know, I've never blocked an item with bar soap. So. Neither. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's it's pretty strong because it's been in this bag. Mm, but it's it's like, honeycomb. It does smell like honey. And what I like is mm-hmm. like it the scent stays on your blocked item. Uh, yeah, it was nice. I blocked that sock with it. So, so how do you do it? Do you grate it or no? You just like do this in the water. Oh, to just get suds and mm-hmm. soap in there. And then or and you can rub it on your item, but you don't have to. Like if it was I a delicate would. item. I'd be too scared I'd felt. Yeah. I did rub it on my sock because it's not going to. Mm. Um, I like rubbed a little bit on there and just threw it in there. And do you have to rinse it? Yes. Okay. Um, but I like it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I'm always, you know, I like different things. Mm-hmm. So, that was, Trying that was fun. And so, I I tried it and then I let it dry and I put it back in the package. <laughs> you are good. <laughs> Or a nerd, whatever. <laughs> and then, so another thing I ordered was um, from mm-hmm. Diana Couture. Swatch me knit. Swatch me knitting. Okay. <laughs> no, um, that's what I know. Too. So it's this little. This is what Diana Couture made. Was this little pouch. Mm-hmm. And then she, you buy with it. Not that. And buds swatch oh. ruler. Because I feel like I need some help. So maybe if I held it measuring. Um, I mean, I just don't love measuring my swatches. So I thought maybe this would help. And bud knits. There you go. Her. Everybody's raving about it. And um, I felt like you could get it for a really good price. Buying it straight from Diana Couture with this little pouch. Right. And the pouch. And I felt like I'm going to break that uh-huh. like with uh-huh. the pouch is a great idea because that seems like kind of a fragile 
-hmm. ruler. And then, because I was ordering, mm -hmm. I also got a needle keeper. Aww. Is that not cute? That's cute. Hot Texas Nitta. And is she the one that has all the embroidery stuff at DFW Fiberfest? Not embroidery. Like where she a monogram? Mm -mm. No, no, she's oh, okay. the one who has all the little, like, sock. Um, the, what does she call them? Yarn owls. They're just like a, they hold a cake of yarn. And she's where I got my needle, um, key, uh, interchangeable um, case. Okay. okay. I thought that was too cute. I think that is cute. It might've been on sale or I just saw it because I was shopping. That uh, is adorable. I love that. Had yeah. to get that. Clever. Yeah. Um, I also ordered from, um, Lolo Barmaid. Ah. Coupon code in the show notes. Lola bars. Lola bars. They posted that they were um, getting rid of, well, they didn't want to, but they are no longer able to make Betty Boo. Oh, why? I one guess of they, the ingredients. One of the ingredients they can't get anymore. Mm. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Sunshine's still my favorite. It's a little, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I got some sunshine, always get sunshine. And then I got a couple of samples of bamboo chestnut and cedar and red clover and then I got the Betty Boo and then I also I wanted to try their soap oh they have soap yeah Ooh, that's upside down. isn't that pretty it is pretty but I've been pretty obsessed with soap sweaters I know so I would just cover it up <laughs> it's peppermint -y. and it would be a good one to cover because it I think it's a strong mm -hmm. I feel like you need a strong scent if you're going to cover it with a soap sweater maybe I and just, it's I'm obsessed with that. Like, goat's I love milk the way and it feels. Tree. Oh, yeah. I like it, too. And it's kind of like exfoliating. Mm -hmm. Goat's milk and tea tree. Oh, that's mint that I'm smelling. Mm -hmm. the tea tree. So, yeah. I thought I would try that. Very cute. Cool. And then oh, I so got... Much good stuff over there. Uh, this right here. Oh. Yeah. So, Suburban Stitcher. Have we talked about her? I don't know. Have y'all heard of her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fangirl much? Oh, it's up there. Yeah. Um, she has bag and yarn of the month. And it's not like an ongoing subscription. You can just pre-order it. Um, and you know ahead of time what it is. Or for the most part. She does tease it. it. Right. So when I saw the tease for the bag, I was like, well, that's happening. Look that fabric is this adorable. This has got sparkle, y'all. So much sparkle. And it is not showing up. Mm -mm. And then this is just classy, mm -hmm. classy, classy, really pretty, just natural. I just love this side. I just love this mm -hmm. bag. I just, I have like, I don't even know anymore. And this was the yarn. I just got a mini of the yarn because, you know, I was trying to restrain myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's really pretty. It is a great sweetheart. It's a great Valentine's. It's really cute. Yarn. Adorable. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Classy as usual. Yep. She's basically got my number. <laughs> she actually literally does. We're texting friends. <laughs> Love you, so, Diane. Since you were ordering. Well, actually, this came in a different. <laughs> These. Okay, so I had done the pre-order for the bag, you know, like mid-December or something, mm -hmm. and then I ordered these, and they came, and then the bag came, like in a totally separate order because I have a problem <laughs> so this one I don't know what I'm going to do with it but I just had to try it it's just so different for me mm -hmm, and I is. just think it's so pretty it's salted caramel it is a really pretty golden it's color so pretty there you go and it's darker than that it's darker than that I love it mm -hmm. I actually might end up putting this with River's Edge but I don't know when what. Mm -hmm. And this, I know what it's going to be. Oh, look at this gorgeousness. This reminds me of what I'm using. I know. I know. It's so, it's got that subtle, mm -hmm. really subtle Blue lavenders and, pink. and pinks. And it's called Pixie Dust. And it's going to be the Twas the Night Before Christmas Socks by oh, Little Bobbins. Oh, yeah. I love Little Bobbins podcast. That's another one. I highly recommend that. I just love her. She's so opposite of me. She's so calm and quiet and meticulous. And oh, I just watch her <laughs> like this. Like, she's so calming. 
Um, and so she released her first pattern, and it's got these cute Christmas trees down the side. Mm-hmm. It um, is a really cute. Pattern. It's super cute, which I guess they could be pine I've, trees. I would want to turn it into mint. That's fine. That's fine. You're missing out, but whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I knew it immediately. I was like, oh, these, this would show those trees so well. So eventually that will happen. There's more? But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, you were right, Sally. I was really bad. I don't know oh, my goodness. Oh. So Ooh. then I had placed my first ever order with Kitterly. Oh, yeah. Um, I had never ordered from them. And I got Neither. some Jelly Bellied. <laughs> you want these? No, I'm not going to eat them. I don't like Take them. them to your voice. <laughs> if they'll eat them. And I ordered from them because they had this set that I wanted. And it's, that's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be the surprise party shawl. I don't know that one. Uh, Helen Stewart. And, oh. Look at that. Yeah. And then I love oh, and the mini. Yeah. That one I just didn't feel comfortable making my own kit mm-hmm. for that one. I felt like it needed a professional, <laughs> right? Touch, right? What am I trying to do here? There's I agree. There are some. It would take you forever to find. Yeah, the I would, right I, and I feel like I would never knit it because I would question my. Mm-hmm. So that's really, really pretty. And the kit itself is called. That's what she said. The, that's the color. Oh. Uh-huh. One more. Yeah. Another kit. Oh, it's giant. <laughs> um, so I really like the Off Our Needles Scania n- knit along shawl that they're doing. Um, I don't know. You'll put in a picture, but for yeah. you, it's this one. Oh, yeah. I just think it's so different. Mm-hmm. Um, because you hold, through the whole thing, you're holding two, two. yarns together. Uh-huh. You just um, change which yarns you're holding uh-huh. together. And so, and the way they have it set up to purchase is so awesome. Because you really? just, you choose your dark color, your medium color, and your two light colors. Oh. And they send you the quantity and, like, it's just, it's so cool. Yeah. It really takes the guesswork out of it. So and I know you're going to be really shocked about the colors she chose. So out of so my shocked. comfort zone, guys. <laughs> so totally out of my comfort zone. No. Darkest. Next, bam, <laughs> medium, next to lightest, and lightest. Is it fingering, or it looks thinner than fingering? It's, yeah, it's, it's sock yarn, so, yeah. but you hold them together. Um, That'll be the fun. whole shawl has at least two held together, and it just varies what you hold uh-huh. together. So the color is constantly Marl- marling, uh-huh. yeah. But then you have some, it looks like you have some stripes that are, yeah. you hold two of the same color. This was also hella cheap, you guys. Oh. It was like 25 bucks. Wow. So it's because, Well, you, and there's a coupon code. Mm. So look up on Off Our Needles, look up their code. They had a code that got you 25% off or something. It was, 20, it was like 25 bucks. That's amazing. Yeah. So... That one I felt a little bit right. like stupid not to. <laughs> right. Yeah, but the way they have the ordering process and everything set up with the whole pick your darkest. And yeah, that's pretty clever. It was nice to just be like, tick, 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 done. Right, right. Okay, so that's it. That's oh. all my trophies. Okay. Oh, no, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you had to have something to put it all in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to have something to carry all your trophies in. <laughs> right. So our my favorite yarn store, West Seventh Wool, sold these backpacks, and there's where my patch ended oh, up. Oh, that's right. I took it off and I sewed it on. Very nice. I that is the right place. I for didn't it. bother. Com- I didn't mind committing to the to mm-hmm. sewing it on here. Right. Um, and then I have just a random button. It's like the stunning string one that says, oh, yeah. I am stunning today. Yeah. I love that. I'm going to fill it up with more patches and buttons, but um, for now, this is all I've got. This is a cute little backpack, it though. It's got a little backpack. water bottle holder. And, yeah. And we, <laughs> like almost all the chicks with sticks, our local <laughs> knitting group, we bought them out. Right. We They sold out in like five minutes. And if you watch West Seventh Wool's latest podcast, yes. they talk about they talk about the, the frenzy, whole, the whole genesis of getting yeah. the backpack and 
Um, but it's really they're getting it was, more. It was so. fun. It was really fun to. Um, it's cute. Have a backpack solely dedicated to uh-huh. my knitting, and uh-huh. it came with the already embroidered with the the logo. Logo. Mm-hmm. Ah, I thought that was really fun, and I've used it. I've used it a few times. Yeah. It's fun to take to Friday morning knitting. Uh-huh. I took it last night to that class I taught. Um, you don't have to worry about anything falling out because yeah, it's it nice. And, it was really mm-hmm. nice, and it's you know I really like it because we all had them all <laughs> lined up like <laughs> we're a gang like we're the pink ladies except we have black <laughs> knitting backpacks <laughs> like. What's our gang sign? Like, That's hilarious. Wet seventh wool. <laughs> like, it's like, we had fun. It's fun. Oh, I was going to also say a humongous thank you to the Arlington Hand Knitters Guild for having me out to teach the Afterthought Heel class. It was so much fun. I should not have stressed about it. It was completely fine and wonderful. And everyone was so, so kind to me. So if you um, are a member and you were there, thank you so much. It was really fun. Um, we have to give away Star Wars stuff. Okay. Um, we haven't talked about what we're wearing. We haven't. No. What are you wearing? I'm wearing my upward straw. I remember straw, that. And y'all have seen it if mm-hmm. you've watched previous episodes. I like it with your, I like the color with your sweater. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I will say, I hadn't worn the sweater. I didn't wear the sweater last year because I don't know. I just hadn't, <laughs> but it's cashmere and I wasn't getting rid of it. Right. So, but then I was like, oh, I have the shawl it with goes the purple in it. Perfectly. So it, you know, that's the shawl. Yeah, and um, and I just pull it around like this, and tuck the ends up under, and it almost looks like. Hold on, I didn't get it even. It almost looks like it's a cowl. The cowl mm-hmm. neck yeah. of the sweater. Cool. So. And having that I'm the cowl of the sweater, much. it kind of like plumps it. Right. Yeah. Right. Ugh. I gotta redo that. <laughs> <laughs> Good try though. I know. I gotta get centered. See, I was looking in there trying to do it. I can't do can't, that. Can't do it. <laughs> Does not work. No. Okay. That's really cute. There we go. I like it together. Thank you. And it is just the right amount of work. Mm-hmm. I love it. Love, love, love it. So, what are you doing? I'm wearing my first ever sweater from a few years ago. It's the Hito Fude. We called it hide a few, hide a few, and it's pilling and all that goodness. And it's too big. I don't care. It doesn't look too big. The on. sleeves have good. always been too. I want the sleeves to be tight mm. because I like how it pulls the lace open. Uh-huh. Um, but it is a flowy mm-hmm. sweater, and it's. I'm so glad you can still wear it because you wore it out. I did when you first made I it. I did, right? and I still. Like I said, I need to shave it and block, re-block it. It's got some pilling. But I still like it. Yeah. So I'm trying to wear it as much as I can. it next winter, mm, it might be too It big. might have to get frogged or knit. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, because, you know, you had said, like, well, can you take it in? And I don't think you could on the body. You would definitely no, ruin. You, could on the body. you would mess up the, like, integrity of the. Because it's like a half circle when it's uh-huh. um, held out. Right. And I don't think you could do anything with that. But I could take in the sleeves. Yeah, I think you can take in the sleeves. But I just don't know. I think it would be fine. I just don't know. We'll see. I'll just have to wait and see what my body looks like next winter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hot. <laughs> it already is. Oh, <laughs> you're sweet. Um, so, yeah, that's with Miss Babs. Katadin, oh. I think, is the... And it comes yardage. in the full It was yardage. a big 1,600-yard... Cake. Mm-hmm. It was amazing, and it's <laughs> knit seamless. So you, yeah, it's all. This it's is all one piece that. of string. Yeah. Um. Mm, 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 so mm, that's what we're wearing. So that's what we're wearing. Um. Yeah. So I guess we're ready to give stuff away. All right. So I already pulled. Okay. Four, from. Oh my gosh, you guys were awesome. With the sharing and the tagging of the Instagram uh, picture. So fun. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And I guess Star Wars is a well-loved, <laughs> who knew, right? Who knew? Star Never Wars, heard of it before. Dude, Star Wars is popular? <laughs> what? So that was f- really fun. You guys really <laughs> embraced this um, giveaway. And so for those who don't remember, it's this bag. All of this stuff is from our sweet friends. Yeah. Our real-life friends. This bag was made by our friend Jennifer. The yarn was donated by Caitlin, and it's a lazy cat. Really pretty. 
And the other friend was uh, other donation was from our friend Donna. And it's a stunning string. We have a stunning string. I know. It is a stunning string episode. Um, a little Yona stitch fixer. So I pulled the winners. This might be the last time we do an Instagram giveaway because it's a yeah. whooping is to it? gather it all and like. Oh. Yeah. So um, the winner was Fadest Thread. Oh. And she has an Etsy shop. Ooh. And what she does she sell? Bags. <laughs> it's bag. <laughs> um, you were in it for the yarn, weren't you? Right, right. <laughs> um, so yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Yeah. Contact me, and I will mail that out to you. Um, don't forget to comment below this video for the underlined sweater pattern, all of you, and we will pull on the next episode. So get her done. Right. And um, get your sock blanks ready. Yes. Get them fired up. Um, whips count. If you have something that you've been working on already for with a sock blank, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Enter it into the thread. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Weeby freebie. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a weeby freebie. Yeah. See, if it's not in my notebook, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I should really write that down. Okay. Weeby freebie. Weeby freebie. Okay, so some of these are time sensitive, so you know, get your fingers clicking. Mm -hmm. um, there is one that is, it's a hat that's free until the end of January. It's called the Slope Side Messy Bun Hat, and by Cheryl Beckerich, and it um, is, it's a messy bun hat, but it's a really interesting texture on the hat. It's cute. So it's almost like cable, but they travel around in mm -hmm. a spiral. Um, wow. And it's bulky, it's so you can of, do it quickly. A lot of work for free pattern. <laughs> right? Um, free until February 15th is Ankari Myths, A-K-A-R-I. Don't know why I'm spelling, because it's right down at the bottom. <laughs> by Meg Cat Knits. And Cute. It is free with... Um, it says three dollars on there. Don't, but if you click on it to buy, oh, yeah. it changes to zero. Um, and they're Fair Isle mitts. I can't believe those are bulky. Yeah, hmm. they're bulky. But again, it could be that they're not really bulky. That's true. You know. Um, and then free until March twenty fourth. So you have a little time on this. Is spring drops and it's um it's a pretty cowl that is great for variegated this might be what i should do with my sock blank i was gonna say this would be a good sock blank mm -hmm. it would project. be a really good sock blank oh that she already did you. oh perfect 330 yeah. boom perfect and knowing me i just keep going until it's done um, well yeah true and it looks like a good one for that right and it is simple it um i think it looks good on both sides it's not the same on both sides but it looks good on both sides um so those are the ones with deadlines coming up. Now, two major events are coming up in my life. The Olympics. The Olympics are coming. The L Olympics, as we call it. The L Olympics. Yeah. Aww, he's so cute. And, you know, we kind of have Valentine's Day coming yes. up, too. Well, that's the next <laughs> okay. major event. The L Olympics and Valentine's yes. Day. So the Olympics are coming, and I don't participate in Rav Olympics mm -hmm. or Rav Olympics or whatever they do, just because, like, I already have a ton. Right. Knitting. I will knit during it. Right. That's a given. But um, Tannis Gray, who I think is a great designer, mm -hmm. sent uh, or has created a cowl that is um, it is in honor of the game, and it is so cute. And it's that is color work. It's super red, white, and blue, cute. and it has little sheep in part of it. It's just adorable. Oh uh, yeah. Um. So I might actually try to knit this. Yeah, that no, might, that's going to have to happen. That's yeah. really cute. Is that it, forever free? Yes, it's forever wow. free. And um, and it is just... And it's just called Winter Games 2018. Mm -hmm. How cute Winter is Games that? Winter Games 2018 cowl. It is adorable. Um, And I rarely think to make red, white, and blue cowls or warm mm -hmm. stuff because it's hot here for the 4th of mm -hmm. July because that's the only time I can think to wear this. But during the Olympics, hello. totally. Yeah. So, um, then the second major event coming up in my life is Valentine's Day. And it is major because it is the day I became a mom. 
<laughs> because right. Zane was born born on Valentine's Day. And um, and we just have a great time with him being our Cupid. Yeah. And he's just adorable. So. He's a love bug. He is. <laughs> so choose love cowl is oh, wow. a, another stranded cowl That's by Kelsey Stevens. That is really cool. And it is, um, it's geometric or like, yeah, it's geometric. And then it has a band of hearts in the middle. It's just adorable. Oh my God, I love it so much. Yes. Like, I want to make it right now. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so, um, and it's two color, I think. Um, so get your needles going for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, I love it. You know. Okay, last one is not a new pattern that um, is out. It's um, it's a Stephen West pattern, but somebody um, bought a skein of yarn for me on D Stash on Ravelry. And whenever somebody buys yarn for me that I don't, that I'm not using or ready to get rid of, I'm like, well, what are you making with it? Cause mm-hmm. like, what could I have made with it? Right. Even though I've already sold it. It's what gone. am I missing out on? Right. What did I miss? <laughs> exactly. So, um, it's Stephen West metal, metal loose, metal yes, I don't know. Um, but it is, It uses, like, a background color and a variegated color. Hmm. And it's a nice shawl. And I'd never seen it before. And I thought it was a great way to use, because the yarn I gave away was, like, a stripey yarn. Um, And I thought it was a great way to use that. Yeah. And it's it's free. Free. Steve almost. Right. Who knew? It's from, oh, it's from Nitty. Um, Winter 2012. So it's been out a long time. Yeah. But um, I had never heard of Steve almost. Before, like back then, I didn't know who Stephen West was. No, Stephen West, what? Right? Seriously, Stephen West in Star Wars. Right. What are those things? Uh, <laughs> just like Hoey. Who was she? Um, oh, okay. <laughs> so those are weeby freebies. Those are good weeby week. freebies. I like sat here and added them to my library. <laughs> <She> <laughs> I was like, oh yes, add to library. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And eventually they do get knit. I'm knitting the mm-hmm. twiggy. So that's right. That's right. Okay. Did we do it? Oh my god, I feel like I just ran a marathon. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Fatest Thread needs to get with us. Right. Oh wait, we didn't talk about Camp Pool Slayers and what we're Oh! Hello. (laughs) Um, yeah, so at Happy Knit Year, Mm -hmm. they had a table of prizes. And I already talked about it. Did I talk about it? Okay. And so everybody got a prize. And so we want to do that at Camp Pool Slayers. And so I've already, I posted in my local knit group and immediately got so much generosity, but we still need a few things. So if there are some makers, Etsy shop owners who want to throw a prize our way, we are taking donations (laughs) Um, because we still have need, we've got, we're kind of halfway there. Um, But I was overwhelmed with the generosity of just our local people. So Mm -hmm. I thought I would throw it out there that. Um, you know, we can offer you free advertising on our podcast <laughs> right. and <laughs> right. give you a hug if we ever meet you in person. <laughs> no, we truly, truly appreciate it. Right. Um, it's just amazing to me how generous people are. Um, mm-hmm. and a lot of them were like, all you have to do is say something. And that's really hard for me. Mm-hmm. So, um, asking for help, <laughs> it's, which is weird because I am so willing to help right. anybody, right. but why don't I want to ask for it. I don't get it. Anyway, it's a flaw in my personality. Vulnerability. Yeah. So um, this is us asking for if any makers that happen to watch the podcast would like to donate to Camp Wool Slayers. We are in need of a few donations. So and um, even if you're a hobbyist, if you're oh yeah, to make something. We have people who don't have shops who are right. making things for us. So right. just so um, email us at wolfslayerspodcast at gmail.com or you can message us on Ravelry. I'm Sally Wren. And I'm Alan Loves Yarn. And, um, or you can message us through Instagram or Facebook. So, um, if not, that's cool too. But if you feel so inclined, that's our information. Um, yeah. So, Camp Wolf Slayers is technically full, but we are taking, um, wait lists. Because we would love for it to grow. And we would love to open up more rooms. We mm-hmm. would. Um, or just to have people on the wait list if someone has to cancel. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I think it's going to be lots of fun. Mm-hmm. Now that we're in the same year, right. it's very, I'm like, oh, 
<laughs> well, Players right. is only like four months away. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Next episode, we're probably going to be freaking out because we're getting really close to knitting in the hills. I know. Yeah. Oh. So, we'll save all that for next time. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's true, because we did get our class selection. We got our classes. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, thanks, y'all. Yeah, this thanks was for watching. Miss you guys. No, We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to slay. Bye. Bye.